Hello and welcome to this morning's LOL Esports Roundup. As we cover some news from the last 24 hours or even last couple days, I usually wait for three teams to make a move before making this video. And as I was starting my team previews and actually got anyone's legends out, I saw that Vitality and um, uh, Rogue had officially made some moves in the in the contract database. So this video is coming out a little later than, than normal. Um, first, we'll start with Top Esports, Dean has been let go we did go over how despair had joined top esports as their coach leaving omg following cream to uh top um now with that in mind dn is is out so as a coach 76 and 52 in best of threes in the lpl uh 30 and 28 over his career in individual games in the playoffs regional finals and then 12 and 7 internationally that all coming on his world's 2020 run with Sooning. So keep that in mind. That's that's where a lot of his um you know um foundation is in terms of value as a coach, right? Went from Sooning to BLG and we saw how well BLG did after he left this year. And I just went over that in my BLG video that I recorded that you will see um later on tonight. EDG have uh brought in Poppy and from what I understand Poppy is gonna be the coach not Ken Zhu. So Poppy uh, coached LNG this past year is 44 and 20 in best of threes in the LPL, 32 and 28 in individual games in playoffs and regional finals, and then five and six internationally. I believe that all coming this past um, Worlds tournament. Poppy, I mean, it's, LNG looked fine this past year. I wouldn't have blamed Poppy for the issues they had, um, given the fact that you know their players just didn't perform up to snuff. Um, and, you know, they, they had a great season. You can't take that away, like how well they played. So it's definitely unfortunate that he, he was let go. Um, EDG now pick him up. Uh, I still have to record that EDG video. Actually, the, the board's behind me right now, um, and I'm going to record that right after getting this video uploaded. Um, yeah, so we'll see how, how he does with EDG. Vitality have announced uh, their roster so, Photon and Dagla stay, as well as Coach Carter. Now, that's why Mac isn't on here. Mac has been given head of management or whatever, so not even the general manager role. It's a different title. Um, so, I'm not going over his stuff. Mac, obviously, being with Mad Lions the last couple of years, one of the best. I would argue the second best LEC org the last four years. Um, so, Vathio joins in mid lane. Vathio is one of the best mid laners in the West. Uh, carry oriented, he is the best, in my opinion. 3 5 KDA, 9 3 CS per minute, 70.6 KP. He takes the bull by the horns and he rides that damn thing. If he gets, he, he gets fed. Um, it doesn't mean kills, it means gold. 429 gold per minute, 607 damage per minute. 24.4% of heretics and excels dam um gold last year like that is incredibly high for a mid laner that is carry that is a carry outright um 27.9 damage share on average down at 15 minutes and that's what's important right so he gets fed he gets fed resources um down 90 gold 1 cs 5 xp up yeah, that's whatever um, five solo kills and 16 champions in 35 games has a champion ocean and does very well on all of them in terms of Karzi can play weak side 3-2 KDA 9-3 CS per minute 61-9 KP not very involved Mad Lions did not fight around Karzi and Hilly last year and now that's how Vitality at least has it set up the bot lane maybe you know being on an island and allowing Daglas to go between Photon and Vethio um, 446, uh, gold per minute, 714 damage per minute, like a shit ton of damage. 24.5 gold share, 30.8 damage share. On average, similar to Vethio, Karzi was down at 15 minutes, 110 gold, 35 XP. Actually had 14 solo kills and 15 champions played 95 games. I think three penta kills as well. Karzi is an excellent player, very young um, relative to what you think he is. I mean, he's a lot younger than you think he is, um, given how long he's been playing. And I think he and Hilly will be fine. Hilly joining him. 2-2 KDA, 63-4 KP, obviously an inter. Um, 
173 damage per minute, 2.85 vision score per minute, 7 wards placed every 5 minutes, a control ward every 3 minutes, clears a ward every 3 minutes, which is usually a good sign. Uh, 20 champions in 95 games. He is a champion ocean, and um, you never know what you're going to get out of Hilly. So get a coin out, flip it, and you'll figure out how they do. Um, yeah, I mean... I like this Vitality roster more than last year's, um, to be honest with you. Um, I, I think that this one has a little bit more stability. Um, it's fine to have uh, Daglas in, in the jungle. As a rookie, I think Daglas is ready for this opportunity. Um, and being with Karzi and Hilly on the, on the bot side of the rift and, and not egotistical players all over the damn place like Vitality had last year, I think they'll be okay. Uh, Rogue make a move. So yes, Rogue is back. We've run over this. Marcoon is joining them in the jungle. Very Malrang-like. This is like Rogue from a couple years ago. 3-2 um, KDA, 4-8 CS per minute, 70 KP. He did not get a lot of... Uh, he didn't get a lot of gold um, last year. 321 gold per minute, 312 damage per minute, 18% of gold, 15% of damage down at 15 minutes quite significantly relative to lec junglers 170 gold 7 cs 120 xp 9 solo kills and uh 13 champions in 52 games i think maracoon's pretty good um as a facilitator he finds really creative angles that's what really caught my eye when he started um his lec career on excel and i think that with the map changes that's a player that I think could be real interesting. If he can show that creativity, he may be one of the better junglers off the rip because he's finding angles that others still haven't caught up to, to catch. Um, but Rogue, uh, of course, they are going with a couple different... I think they have a rookie support as well. So um, that stuff, obviously, we'll be discussing um, You know when, when the... Uh, well, when Rogue announces more of their roster and things of that nature, and then the preview video when we hit that. So, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, like it. Subscribe to the channel for daily League of Legends content, or buy daily, try daily. Um, subscribe, because otherwise you might miss some of my uh, content. Hit that notification bell. I never ask for that, but I believe that that will help alter that algorithm issues that I'm going to end up having by uploading so much content for everybody. Um, join the Discord, become a dedicated simp on there. That's just a role title, and it will also notify you if I have an upload. Um, and yes, so thank you for watching.